Well, welcome. It's a pleasure having you here with me. You're probably here because you're in need of surrender and relaxation. Good for you. I'm glad you're here. Let's do this together. Prepare yourself, body, mind, and spirit. The whole point of meditation is to relax our nervous system so we are able to focus on the love of God and our self-love. Find your comfort space. Place your body in a comfortable position, but not in a sleep mode. It is much beneficial to be awake and aware of your relaxation. Your mind may wander elsewhere. That's all right. Lovingly bring your focus to your breath and your presence. There's no need to get uptight if you're not relaxed in the beginning. Be patient. Just continue to shift your mind from elsewhere to your present. Very well. Now let's take three slow, intentional, deep breaths. Take your time. John chapter 1 verses 1 through 5 and verse 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and 
without him, nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Amen. Stay relaxed. Take a deep breath. We think of Christmas as this celebration that takes place in our lives for a bit. Then, pack it up again and put it away and forget about it. From the beginning, our Heavenly Father planned the Word, Jesus. He is to be with us. God saw our hearts and minds were drifting away in the darkness, which caused sin which caused traumas and disorder. But a loving, merciful Father always gathers his children to his dwelling, a dwelling of knowing true love, self-worth, and to understand why I am created in his image and where I am headed after I am finished with my journey here in the state of Earth. Take a deep breath. From the beginning, God created all things through him and without him it is very painful and challenging to understand our mission here. Life was given to us not to cope but to know that we have a gift which has been granted to us for free. The gift of all that we need on Mother Earth. The gift of freedom. The gift of having the capability of surrendering to our Creator. The gift of receiving as an important child of God. And the gift of truly living a meaningful life. Continue to relax. Roll your shoulders back. Let it go. Release everything. Be light. It is the reason why Christmas is always another chance of our new epiphany and rebirth. God brought the Word, Jesus Himself, and became flesh, a baby in a manger. This mystery 
is to be fathomed in a whole different dimension as to our existence. Meditate on how phenomenal God our Father is who was willing to protect us from harming ourselves through his mercy, through his dwelling among us as a human being. In those days, his glory, his grace, and his truth lived in flesh. Today, we still have that testimony and its truth through the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling among us. Through Christmas, God gave us a continuous chance of our birth, our baptism. Stay relaxed. You're right here in the present moment. The past is behind you. And the future has no vacancy in your space right now. It is the truth and a testimony that when Jesus got baptized that day in the Jordan River, God the Father revealed his spirit. As the heavens opened, the Holy Spirit appeared as a dove and God's voice was evident as he proclaimed, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. These truths and mysteries are revealed to us for our sake and the good of having and living a grace-filled, peaceful life. The meditation today is not about Bible scriptures. It is the truth in his mystery in the core of the scriptures. Who am I in God through my new rebirth of baptism? A wonderful question to ponder on. Not the baptism of my infancy alone, but the baptism of Christmas, a reminder of my personal epiphany and transformation of my mind and heart. To live in God's light, grace, truth, and wisdom. To know how to care for my well-being and be a good instrument to myself and society. Take a deep breath. this wonderful moment with the Holy Spirit. Keep in mind He is present with us and put a smile on your face. Dear Holy Mary, you are the mother of all mothers. I need you to pray for my new rebirth of my transformation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. If you've never
never had the grace of receiving your baptism, I invite you, allow yourself to ponder on this amazing grace. Be fair to yourself to have an open mind and heart to at least consider understanding the truth and power behind God's baptism. It's an open invitation to all. Let's take a deep breath. Let's recite our Lord's Prayer for our new rebirth and for God's people who've never received the gift of baptism. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever and ever. Amen. Take a deep breath. Continue to keep your eyes closed. Roll your neck slowly to one side. And roll slowly to the other side. Take another deep breath. today are surrendered in God's care and grace. You may recite, I am free in Christ. able to surrender to him through his grace. Through him all things are possible and I am able to let go and relax. Thank you for being with me and thank you for inviting others to join us in our next meditation. May you are blessed and guided to your new rebirth as to why the word our Lord Jesus dwelt amongst us. I wish you a happy and healthy week and keep us in his care and protection.